Okay, so today I'm at Let's Golf in Hawley and I'm at base camp and I've had a number of people ask me about early extension. Now, what is it and how, uh, what's the effects of early extension and how do you fix it, okay? So today's tip is the Back to Basics. We're gonna talk about early extension. We're gonna I'm gonna show you with my K-Vest 3D system what's actually happening with the pelvis and the torso when you are early extending and the drills that I use with my clients here at Let's Golf when I'm teaching in the studio with my KVS system, the drills that I use to help them combat that early extension and strike the ball better and get that club moving through that golf ball in a functional and repeatable way. Okay, so early extension. Let's get started with that. So I'm glad somebody's asked me this question online and I'm glad that I'm coming back to you and giving you the reasons, A, why it's happening, B, the effects of what early extension and what it can cause, and C, how I fix it with my clients using my KVEST system. Okay, so let's talk about early extension. So I'm gonna stand in posture here. So. You've seen some of my videos about how you set your body up at address, in particular, how you bend forwards from the pelvis and how you bend forwards from the hips to lower your torso, and that's gonna get you the correct incline to the ground, okay? So, you need to have that forward bend in the pelvis. Now, early extension is when you are making the, throughout the downswing, okay, and usually in the first phase of the downswing, when the, when the lower body is starting to move and the upper body then starts to move and the club is dropping down and coming back and, and dropping into that slot on that shaft plane with the butt of the club pointing to the target line, early extension is when the golfer stops rotating towards the target, they lose that angle in their pelvis and they start to thrust towards the golf ball. And what generally happens, it's going to drop the club shaft underneath, it's going to stand the handle up, and in most cases it creates an excessive into-out path and moves the hosel of the club towards the golf ball, creating a shanking action. So the golfer is coming out of that pelvic forward bend position and out of posture towards the golf ball, standing up, sending the arms away from them. Okay, I have seen good players make early extension work for them. However, they have a different mobility and a different function in their spine. Good players that make early extension work for them get very much kyphotic and a lot of bend in their thoracic and cervical. And with that pelvis tucked under, they can bring the club back and maintain the path through the golf ball but for the majority of people, getting into that kyphotic posture is almost impossible, okay? So, we know what early extension is, we know the effects of early extension. Now I'm gonna show you on my KVEST 3D system how I work with my clients to combat early extension and how, it, how they stay in posture for longer and then use that thrusting motion of the pelvis at the right time to generate speed and to make a good motion through the golf ball which is repeatable and functional. You've seen through some of my other videos how you set your body up, how you set up at address, and how you angle your pelvis, how you tilt your pelvis forwards or buttocks up towards the sky and lower your torso down to get the club down behind the golf ball, okay? So that forward bend in the pelvis is critical that you set the right angle at the start. And what you can do is a little drill to to make sure you get the correct forward bend is place a club down behind your back and you want to be making sure as you can see there from that red circle that's moving into that green area there on the screen you can see that I'm angling my pelvis angling my buttocks up to the sky and creating a very small arch in my lower lumbar that's the natural curve of the spine okay so we want to be maintaining that 
and then lowering the torso down to the ground by bending from the hips, okay? So from the information that I've gathered from many good players, elite players and pros that I've captured on both my 3D and 6D systems with KVEST and with the information that KVEST has shared with me and many of their other KVEST coaches with the, the KVEST software, is that we know that the best players stay in that forward pelvic bend throughout the swing and they come out of it about halfway down in the downswing, okay? So if I move on to the next drill here and show you how much you should be bent forwards, both tilting pelvis and torso mm. at the top of your backswing, you will see how much you need to be. Okay, so I'm at, I'm on the now the drill to get bend at the top. So the amount of forward bend of the pelvis and the, the amount of forward bend in the torso. So as you can see, the optimal ranges that KVEST recommend from all of the data that they've gathered from the tour players that they've screened, the pelvis should be bent forwards between 10 and 22 degrees. So that arch in the lower lumbar should remain at the top of your backswing. The torso is gonna be leaning forwards between three and 15 degrees, okay? So if I go through that little exercise here in the, in the software and show you the position at the top. And from this view as well, so the amount of forward bend in my pelvis and torso at address, I line myself up. So you should see the angles that I'm maintaining into the top of my backswing. So, Halfway down during the downswing, the golfer is going to be coming out of posture, okay? So we're in posture, that forward bend at address, both pelvis and torso. We're in this slightly forward bent position, both pelvis and torso at the top of the backswing. In the downswing, we want to be rotating our belt buckle towards the target, buttocks up, okay? And about halfway down, that's when the belt buckle is starting to rotate around hard towards the target and you're gonna push your buttocks underneath, okay? So we are coming out of posture, halfway down, out, into that, towards that finished position. So the pelvis is gonna go from that forward tilted position in a dress and at the top, it's gonna stay in that forward tilted position until about halfway down, and then it's going to be moving into a position more neutral and more level as I come down to the golf ball and turn through, okay? So you've got to maintain, to avoid the early extension, you must maintain that buttocks up, pelvis angle, that forward angle, halfway down, and then move towards your target as you turn and tuck your buttocks underneath with your head back, okay? That's gonna allow you to move onto your left side into the finish position, okay? And you see that very elegant pose that you see all the golf pros in. So they are what we call thrusting and extending, but they're extending later in the downswing and not early, okay? I hope you enjoyed that video. Enjoy your golf.